In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the drape tool and the drape tool belongs to the sandbox toolbar and if your sandbox toolbar is turned off you can find that under view toolbars. Alright so we have a driveway here that we would like to drape into our, our surface so if I go and grab that floor plan I might just move it a little bit higher than the actual platform then with the select tool I'm going to right click and edit the component and then I can get the line tool and draw a line across here like so until we get to get to the other side alright then we should be able to break the line here and here and that will create a surface for us Okay, so once we have a surface we can select that surface and go up to edit copy then right click away from the floor plan and close the component then we can go and move that floor plan below below the contours just so it's out of the way and we can bring back our platform so go to edit paste in place and you can see here we have now uh, a driveway outline for us to drape into our site so once you're happy with that platform you can just select it click on the drape tool then click on the site and it will drape that shape into the actual contour surface and you can see there that's actually broken it so it's now created that driveway shape if we're not happy with it and we want to adjust it we could easily just select the back edge get the move tool move it out a bit like so, so we're taking it out past the actual 3D contours a little bit further and also the front of it here wasn't quite up to the to the garage so we could get the move tool click on that edge, hold shift and then touch the front of the the foundation so now it's touching the actual foundation and then we could do it again, so select it get the drape tool then click on the site and it will just adjust the cut line and I left the other one behind so you can see that we've now just adjusted it and it's now a lot looking a lot better so if we need to modify it we can come in and edit the, the contour group and how I did that was just with the select tool double click on the site now you're inside of that group and you can go and edit and delete any lines that you don't no longer need like so yep and that line there can go easily this line does not need to be there anymore and that these lines should go as well yep that's good and then maybe if we didn't quite get it right here we could get the, um, the two point arc here and just finish it off by just drawing the driveway curving out at the main driveway area so once you finish drawing the the driveway that's now a broken surface which is perfect because you can get the paint bucket tool and it's just on over here you can then go in here and maybe we'll just choose um, uh, asphalt and concrete we'll just choose an asphalt color and we're just going to paint the site and you can see that it's now broken it up into two pieces so we can then just paint that driveway the color we want um, and then under landscaping as well uh, vegetation sorry we can find like a grass material and we can just start to paint our site once you're happy get the select tool right click close your group and then you can see there that we're starting to really develop our 3D contours.